Let's move on to how to establish proper grips in a standing situation. So Zach and myself, we're gonna be facing off in a uh, grappling stance. So both of us get set, right leg's leading, our right hand is a uh, palm out facing our opponent, and now we're gonna get to work here. Now, it's, uh, it's not quite as dangerous in jujitsu to reach with your lead leg, but especially in wrestling, you never wanna reach with your uh, lead hand here. Anytime he goes out to reach with that lead leg, his uh, close leg is vulnerable to attack. And seeing as how we have both of our right legs forward, this is gonna lead to an easy double leg. So instead of reaching out with your lead hand, let your lead hand block your leg, Take the thumb of your back hand and look to set it in as a post here, right inside your partner's armpit. Now, if Zach were to try and change levels, I'd be able to detect that. If he goes to move back away into me or any direction, I'm going to be able to follow him because I have this strong connection made to him. Now, if he tries to arm drag on this arm, it's very difficult for him to threaten me because it's so far back and away from him. As opposed to if I were to have reached with my lead hand and he goes and sets an arm drag here, that's trouble. That's big trouble. So it's very important for us when we're engaging and opening up in a grappling match that our hand goes to set through to here. And in fact, you don't need to be very nice about it either. As I said in the beginning, this is my, I often call it my antagonizing arm. So my apologies, Zach, but this hand will come up through to here and you can start really pushing with your partner here, looking to drive him back and start to make him get aggressive with you as well. So that back hand is the antagonizing arm and it's what's gonna start off your initial connection anytime we're in a grappling situation.